A new list of the best and worst jobs in the world has left some of us scratching our heads. We talked about this on Friday. Newspaper re- We talked about the list. Newspaper reporters and broadcasters are now ranked in the top 10 worst jobs. <laughs> in fact, in the top five. But what will that list look like in 10 years' time? Employment consultant Laurel McClay joins me now. Laurel, good morning. Hi, Paul. Good Great to, to be see back. you back. Um, all right, looking here at these, the worst jobs, and there's not a lot of difference between 2014 and no. 2015. Lumberjack, newspaper reporter, enlisted military personnel, taxi driver, broadcaster, head cook, flight attendant, garbage collector, um, and a couple of those have dropped off for last year. Um, but in the best jobs, it's all down to maths and technology, isn't it? Not surprising, really, is it? I suppose not. (laughs) I was never, you know, well, they didn't have technology when I was at school. They had maths, (laughs) but I was not very good at it. And, And as you say, not surprising. Is there likely to be any change in that? Look, I don't think so. What's happening with us now is that with all the automation that's going on and the computer power, which is really quite inconceivable, um, even since like five or ten years ago, we have a tsunami of information that we're having to deal with. And so we need to make meaning of that information. So if you've got maths, if you've got science, if you've got computer skills, that's going to help us understand this avalanche of info. So people that can render that information down or work through it and present it, those are the sort of people that are going to do well. Yeah, it's going to be about making it into bite-sized chunks that people understand. All right, so what sort of jobs are we talking? What sort of things or, or subjects? I mean, today is day one back at school again. What sort of subjects should be being studied? Well, do you know, that's interesting. Um, thankfully, our Ministry of Education has embraced the fact that our future is so unknown. So with the future of learning, or the, or the 21st century learning, we call it, the best skill we can learn is to learn, unlearn, and relearn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we were going to actually have a look at specific subjects, absolutely, the... Um, the technology and the mathematical, but also we need to be more design oriented. So one, sciences too, I suppose. So chemistry, science. Yes, well that's science. all about research, isn't yeah, it? Because yeah. we're just understanding so much more. Things like nanotechnology, where now we can actually be in and the senses in our bodies telling us things, again, lots of information that we just have to find out what to do with and that will improve our wellness, which is great by the way, for an ageing population. Wellness is another brilliant area to be yeah, studying. So in, in medicine. Uh, but well, in, not just in medicine, medical actually, research, I yes. suppose. Uh, yes, medical research, but people are taking a far more holistic view of wellness now. There's, mm. You think about some of the roles that are available or people are going off to naturopaths and yeah. Reiki, etc. That's far more uh, prevalent now than it was, say, maybe five or ten years ago as well. What do you think about the body farm, the underwater body farm idea? <laughs> well, I think... Because I'm going to need at least a couple of scuba divers. It's just all about supply and demand. So you've just got to create that knee, Paul. And I know yeah. that if anyone can do that, you can do that. No, you're absolutely <laughs> right, Laurel. If anyone can do it, I can do it. Laurel, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Paul. And I suppose consultants like yourself will always be in need, because my father told me consultants will always be in need. <laughs> of course they will. That he, yeah. used that, he used to use that horrible <laughs> phrase, those who can do, those who can't are consultants. <laughs> um, anyway, Laurel, thank you for joining us. Careers Consultant.